Hi, I'm Kathy Smith. You're about to join us in an exciting new exercise program. We've combined a good stretching warm-up with the best of aerobics, including low-impact segments, and a new approach to muscle toning and conditioning. In this total body workout, we'll introduce resistance using, of all things, rubber bands. But more about that later. Before we get started, let's review some important safety factors in exercise. First, work to your own level. You and your body know when you're becoming fatigued. If it hurts, stop. Second, during exercise, we need to monitor your heart rate, especially during the aerobics, to make sure you're working efficiently and safely. To check your heartbeat, find your pulse, either on your wrist or on your neck. Count the number of heartbeats in 10 seconds and multiply by six. This will give you your heartbeat per minute. Now, is that in your heartbeat range? To define your range, subtract your age, let's say 30, from 220. Now multiply that by 65% and again by 85%. This represents your target heartbeat range. If you're below your range, you need to work a little harder. If you're above your range, slow down. Beat counts will help you get started right. Foot looking will get you off on the right foot and keep you there. And body checks will provide more important information on techniques so you get the most out of each exercise. Concentrate on that muscle. Don't pull that other muscle. The program is recorded in stereo with instruction on one channel and the complete workout on the other. You decide what you need the most of today. All right, what about these rubber bands? We've known for a long time that resistance improves the efficiency and lowers the time necessary to tone and condition muscles. Rubber bands are resistance. You're going to need four of them. Now first of all, tie two of them together like this. The amount of resistance you need is what's comfortable for you. So Mary, you might need a little less than Terry. Now you don't pull the rubber band out as far as it can go. You pull it out to where it's comfortable and gives you a comfortable resistance. A note of caution. Remember your mother always says don't snap anybody with a rubber band? <laughs> Keep it in mind. Also, inspect them for wear and tear before each workout. Since they're cheap, throw them away if you find any sort of imperfections or damage. By the way, you'll be more comfortable if you keep the rubber band on the fleshy part of the hand, or even better, get yourself a pair of weightlifting gloves or any old pair of gloves you have around the house. This is especially helpful as you start to increase your resistance. Some beginners may want to start this exercise using imaginary resistance or soft weights on their wrists and ankles, and then gradually work into more resistance with your rubber bands. This is a very efficient workout. You don't need a lot of repetitions. In fact, at first you're going to be very surprised at how quickly these rubber bands will work your muscles. Thanks, guys. Your total fitness requires balancing three elements, flexibility, muscle tone, and cardiovascular strength so that you look good, perform well, and build up your body's defense against injury and illness. But it's important to see the whole picture. A lot of people have fallen into the trap of thinking that being fit is all about having thin thighs. Sure, you can tone up your thighs, but if you don't understand that the thigh is a part of the leg, and the leg is a part of the physical and mental system, and that that whole system is part of the whole social system, then you're missing out an awful lot. Being fit to me means being ready mentally and physically to participate in life. The magic that I'm hoping will have taken over you by the end of this program is something more than finally liking yourself in a bathing suit. One thing I cannot emphasize enough is that the real purpose of working out is not only to develop your body, but also to develop yourself, your mind, your emotions, your relationship to the world and the people in it. So good luck and have a great workout. By the way, if your VCR has a memory capability, put a zero here. That way your tape is always cued to the start of the workout. Okay, you ready for warm up? I got my group together here, so feet shoulder width apart. Take it down. Two, three, now take it to the right. Take a bend, nice and slow. We're gonna warm it up now. Take it down. Two, three, to the left. Small bends. Boom. Let's make it a little 
deeper. Use the arm this time. Start to warm up that body. Over to the right. Again, back to center. Over to the left. Okay, third time through, a little deeper. Down and down and down. Now back to the right. Take it down. Back to center. Last time on the left. Generally, when you work out, don't lock out your legs. Make sure you keep them relaxed or in a bent knee position. Two more. Last one. Single count. Just press it. Two, three, four, five, six, seven. Release to the front. Take it nice and slow. And release. Chest goes out. Down the back. Chest goes out. Press through the spine, then round it up. Again, press through and punch through the stomach. Last time, head comes back, chest goes out, and round it up. And out. And out. Push it all the way down. up on the toes, then keep the knees directly over the toes to protect the knees. Press the heels back into the floor to stretch out that calf. Walk it back and round it up. Press to the right, into a lunge. The foot is pointed forward. Now just a little bit deeper. Press it down there, warm up that leg, and take it all the way to the right. Circle it around. Press the heel back. Press into that heel. Drop that knee all the way to the floor. Now the hip's going to release back. Back and press. Back and press. Right arm circles around. Follow your arm as it circles back. Now the left hand. All the way around. Up to pike position. Hold it here. That's five. Step it out. Here we go. We're going to repeat that on the other side, the whole thing. Take it down to the left. Lunge it out. Five, six. Give me another four on this side, a little bit lower. Two, three, and circle all the way around to the left side. Hold it there. Press into that back heel. Now press the hip down. Down. Two. Nice and small. Press it back. During your lunges, don't let your knees slide too far forward. Make sure it's slightly back of the toe. Hold it there. Release it back. And forward and back. Press it down. Left hand goes to the ceiling, circle so around. Now the right hand. Press up the pipe. Hold it there. Now, if you find that you're not flexible like Mary is and you can't touch your hands to the floor, Bring the hands up to the knee and just start to pulse forward, trying to get the chest to the knee, and that will stretch the hamstrings out. Step the back leg, come up behind, and lift that front toe. Up and up and seven. Now round it up slowly. Up, two, three. Now let's get started. Walk it out. We're going to do the hip isolation. 
isolators now. To the right. Right, left, right for two. Left, right, left for two. Single count. Right. Two. Let it go. Three. Four. Five. Six. Seven. Hip circles. Take it around. Move it out. And reverse. Take it left. Two. Three. Now for the ribs. It's right, left, right for two. Left, right, left for two. Repeat that. Single count. Whew. Two, three, four, five, six, seven. Now for the points, you take it right, push it forward, left, push it back. Right, forward, left, and reverse it. Last time, take it left, forward, right. You reach for the ceiling. Take it up. Two. Left and right. Push it over to the left and over to the right. That's five, six. Hold it on eight. Circle around. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Reverse it. Reverse it. <sighs> Exhale out. Hold it there. Pull your shoulders down as you bring your hands down. And now loosen up the neck. Other side. Great, get ready for arms now. Get your rubber bands up. Okay, you have your rubber band, grab on to both sides of it. Start with a lunge, right and left. Here you go. Take it right and left and right and left. Now shoulder level. Pull it out there. Working those shoulders. Bring it up to the ceiling. Back to center, shoulder level. Three, now count to two. Take it down. We're working those shoulders and the arms. Take it up. Another set of twos. Keep working it, come on. Now up to the shoulders, take it up. Two. When working out with your rubber bands, use caution, especially around your face and eyes. Switch sides, take it out. Really extend that arm each time, you gotta straighten out. Five, six, seven, back to the left side, other side. Now when working a muscle group, push it through the full range of motion. That means in this tricep, you're going to have to lock out that elbow. Circle around, other side, and up for two. Really keep that resistance there. Up, and out. Two more times. Up for two. Extend the whole way out. Last time. Now single counts. Take it up, and out. Up and down, take it up and down, and up and down. Pull that band apart and down. Now we're going to go to the biceps over the knee and pull it. Two. Now we're working the front of the arm. When you're working with these rubber bands, work to your comfortable resistance. And if you need a little bit more resistance, just double up the rubber bands. Back to singles and lift it a little higher, a little stronger. Four, three, two. Now up to tempo again. Other side, take it to the ceiling, up and down. Adjust your hands. We're going to go to the right knee, other knee. Take it down and lift. Two, now we're working the front of the arm, the bicep part. Up to tempo and lift. Keep curling it. And singles again, lift. A little strong, keep that rubber band separated up there, keep the resistance there.
certain muscle group, concentrate on that muscle. Don't pull in other muscles like the neck. Right now, you should just be working the deltoid muscles. Two more sets. Bring them in. Bring them out. Last set. Now let's bend forward, working the back, and keep reaching. Straight back, bend the knees slightly. Give me another eight. Elbows are in, nice and close. Four, three, two. Bring the legs together. If you have to, release your rubber bands. To make sure the rubber bands don't slip off your feet, point your toes. Never flex them. Two, three, four. Curl it up. Six, seven. Repeat that again. Let's work in the back now. And curl it for four. On the arm right now. I count to two. Pull back for two. And curl. Back. And curl. Two more steps. We're working the back right now. Keep your elbows close. Last time. Open the leg now for the chest. You cross, 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 up to temple. And cross, two, three, four, five, six. Work that chest. Press, 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 up to temple. And press it, press it, press it, press it. Lean a little forward. And slow, slow, slow. Now fast, fast, fast. Lean forward a little bit. Here you go. Slow. Last time you can do it. One, two, three, four. Now the other side, pull it all the way across the body, and stretch out that shoulder and the back, and again stretch out the top of the arm. And shake it out. Great job. Okay, we're going to start with the aerobics now. We're going to start low and bring it up. So here we go. Get your body moving. Take it out. Bring it in. Take it out. Bring it together. To save your arches and your calves, make sure that you use the whole foot. Press through that heel. Now walk it to the right. One, two, three, four, and press it with those arms. Get into it now. And press again. Walk it. One, two, three, four, press it out. And one, two, three, four, and press it. Same walk, different arms. Up and up again. One, two, three, four, nice and strong. Press those arms out there.
Cross behind. 
reach for the ceiling, out and in, out, two, five, six, walk it across. Okay, it's time to check your heart rate. Find your pulse on your wrist or your neck. Ready? Begin. Stop. Okay, now if you're above your target zone, slow down. If you're below it, it's time to get it in gear. Lunges to the right, here you go. Take it right and left. Right. Right. Now add the tricep arm. Down, down. Four more. Three, two, and take it forward. Bow and arrow. Now, 
Okay, it's time to check your heart rate. Find your pulse on your wrist or your neck. Ready? Begin. Stop. Okay, now if you're above your target zone, slow down. If you're below it, it's time to get it in gear. Ready for sit-ups? We're going to start by warming up that back area. Let's sit up straight. And press. Press. Press the chest through and then warm up that back. Now roll it down in four counts. Take slow counts to get down. And pull it back up as you scoop out that belly. Again, take it down. Press the back, the middle back, and the upper back. Lift it up slowly. Now count to two. Take it down. Bring it up. Take it down for two. During any of the sit-ups, if you start to experience two any more neck times, pain, take one arm or both of the arms and place them behind the head, and that will support the head so you won't have that neck strain. Breathing is so important during your sit-up, so make sure that you're exhaling as you come up and contract those muscles as you come up. Take it. One, two, three, four. Grab your leg, pull yourself up, then release it and just hold. Other side. Grab your leg, pull yourself up, then release. Again. Pull yourself up, then release it one more time. Yourself just a little higher this time and release. Count to two. Pull, release. Pull, release. Pull one more time. Elbow to knee. Five, six, seven, switch sides. Now remember to exhale each time you come up. Scooping that stomach. Now straight leg, arms come back, elbows are back, reaching, reaching, slight pulse of the leg, switch sides, exhaling up, count to four, two, one, two, three, repeat it, up, now straight leg, on your lower back, you support your back by putting your hands underneath your buttocks. Small little crosses, take it, one, two, three, open, one, two, three, open. Right, left, right, open, right, left, right, open. Two more, last one, one, two, three, bring it out, one, two, three, bring it out, use your hands for resistance. Last 
last one. Small crosses. We're almost done. I was swinging for right now. Come swing me. <laughs> Come on. One more. Eight big ones. Last eight. This is it. This is it. Just four more. Bring it in. Grab onto those knees. Give yourself a big hug. Pull it up. Now, if you didn't get all those today, don't worry about it because you're going to pick up tomorrow. Just do as many as you can and keep on progressing. All right. Slide the rubber bands, one around each leg. Legs are perpendicular to your body. Five, six, seven, eight. You lift it, lift it. Now we're working that outer thigh. Keep lifting. Now, point, flex, and lift. Point, flex, and lift. Keep that resistance on that rubber band. Point, flex, and lift. Point, flex, and lift. Point, flex, and lift. Keep going. Point, flex, and lift. Last one. Point, flex, and lift. Now, square boxes. You want to keep the toes up, even with the knees. Seven more. Six, five, four, three, two. Take it back out. Circle it forward. Keep that resistance on the rubber band. Now reverse it and flex it. Keep it there. Almost. Two. Pull it in. Hold it there and stretch it out.
foot forward. Small circle, a little bit bigger now. And reverse it, take it back. Two, three, four, five, six, seven. Oh, stretch it out. You need it right now. Hold it there. All the way up the side. Five, six, seven, lift it up. Lift for four. One, two, three, four, down. Two, three, hit a point. Two, three, four, down. Two, three, now twos. Up for two, down. Up, down, up, down. Up to single. Take it up and down. Five, six, seven, roll it forward. Three quarters. Arching your back, just relax into it and work that buttocks. Each time a little higher. Take it your buttocks, in, buttocks, buttocks. Press it up. All the way up to the elbow. Keep lifting. Keep lifting. Look, hips are parallel. Then flex for eight. Bring it up. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, and eight. Relax your head. Part your body. Bend the knee, bring it in and back. In, work the hamstring. In and out. And in and lift the floor. Take it up. Two, three. We're working the hamstring. Bring it in, stretch it out. Bend it in, stretch it out. Bend it in, stretch it out. Lift the floor. Take it up. Two. Keep that stomach. 
skin stay nice and tall. Stay lifted. Lift and forward. Lift and forward. Work in the front of the leg, especially this nice little area above the knee. Keep your leg turned out. Up. Turn toward your chair again. Parallel hips. Stomach is in and lean forward slightly. And bend. Get ready to cool down. One hand goes to the ceiling, one hand goes down as you bend the knees and press into that hip. Now stretch in opposite directions. Other side, bend the knees. One arm goes up, one down, and stretch those arms apart. Back to center, inhale up, intertwine the fingers. Press over to one side, stretch out the side. Exhale. Come back to center. Lift yourself up a little bit and relax over to the other side. Up to center. Take a deep breath. Tighten the buttocks. Drop the head back and arch back only as far as is comfortable. Now circle around. Inhale up. Drop down. Intertwine the fingers around the legs. And to stretch out the entire This is a back. great stretch for the entire back. Move the arms up and down the legs, and you'll feel the stretch in different places in the back. Round it up slowly. Now release to the front. Chest goes forward, arch the back, and now drop the head down and round it up. Repeat the same thing, but over your right leg. Round it up. Now back to center. Round it up. And over the left leg. Round it up. Back to center. Stay down this time. Drop the hands and walk them out. Press the right shoulder, then the left shoulder, stretching out the upper body. Feet come together, walk the hands out and lower yourself down, ready for the cobra. Hands underneath the chest, lift up, keeping the shoulders relaxed. Press yourself back into the cat, hips beneath the heels as you extend the hands forward. Slide over the right, circle your feet around, and round the back down. Now to stretch out the hips and thighs. Right knee over the left knee, pull the knee into the chest. Leg slides over the other leg, and now drop the knees to the left as you look to the right. Center. Right knee to the chest, extend the left leg out, hold it there, and now grab wherever is comfortable, the heel, the thigh, or the calf, and straighten out the leg. Take it out the side and increase the stretch to the inner thigh. Just breathe into it. Bend the knee and bring it back down. On the other side, the right leg over, pull the knee to the chest. Drop it over now, 
Legs drop to the right side, you look to the left side. Stretching out the back, the waist, and the thighs. Back to center, left leg comes into the body, light right leg extends. Extend the leg straight up wherever it's comfortable. And drop it out to the side. And relax and take a deep breath and exhale. Now bring it back to center and slide both knees into the body. Give them a big hug, pulling the knees to the chest while you keep the lower back and the hips on the ground. Now it's time to relax. Let the legs extend out and sink into the floor. We're going to do one last exercise. It's called tension release. We're going to create tension in the body and then release it so that we can get rid of that last bit of tension. We're going to start thinking about each and every body part as we move up the body. I want you to think of contracting each part and keeping it contracted while we move on to the next body part. So here we go. Starting with the feet. Now flex the feet. Flex them. They should pull off the floor. Now the calves. Flex them tighter. Contract them. Contract them. Now to the thigh. The thigh, the quadriceps, buttocks. The buttocks should be tight. Tighten it. Now the stomach. Move up to the chest. The chest, the shoulders, the right arm, the left arm, the fist. Everything's real tight. The neck, the head comes off the floor because you're so tight. Hold it there. Now hold it. Hold it for four more seconds. You should be shaking right now. Four, two, and relax it. And just let the tension float away. You should be so relaxed. You're sinking into the floor. No tension. Just relax. And think about your workout. Hi, I'm Kathy Smith. You're about to join us in an exciting new exercise program. We've combined a good stretching warm-up with the best of aerobics, including low-impact segments, and a new approach to muscle toning and conditioning. In this total body workout, we'll introduce resistance using, of all things, rubber bands. But more about that later. Before we get started, let's review some important safety factors in exercise. First, work to your own level. You and your body know when you're becoming fatigued. If it hurts, stop. Second, during exercise, we need to monitor your heart rate, especially during the aerobics, to make sure you're working efficiently and safely. To check your heartbeat, find your pulse, either on your wrist or on your neck. Count the number of heartbeats in 10 seconds and multiply by six. This will give you your heartbeat per minute. Now, is that in your heartbeat range? To define your range, subtract your age, let's say 30, from 220. Now multiply that by 65% and again by 85%. This represents your target heartbeat range. If you're below your range, you need to work a little harder. If you're above your range, slow down. Beat counts will help you get started right. Foot looking will get you off on the right foot and keep you there. And body checks will provide more important information on techniques so you get the most out of each exercise. Concentrate on that muscle. Don't pull that other muscle. The muscles. program is recorded in stereo with instruction on one channel and the complete workout on the other. You decide what you need the most of today. All right, what about these rubber bands? We've known for a long time that resistance improves the efficiency and lowers the time necessary to tone and condition muscles. Rubber bands are resistance. You're going to need four of them. Now first of all, tie two of them together like this. The amount of resistance you need is what's comfortable for you. So Mary, you might need a little less than Terry. Now you don't pull the rubber band out as far as it can go. You pull it out to where it's comfortable and gives you a comfortable resistance. A note of caution. Remember your mother always says don't snap anybody with a rubber band? Well, keep it in mind. Also, inspect them for wear and tear before each workout. 
Since they're cheap, throw them away if you find any sort of imperfections or damage. By the way, you'll be more comfortable if you keep